The reflection is taken from Luke chapter 14, verses 15 to 24. The parable of the great dinner. One of the dinner guests on hearing this said to him, Blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. Then Jesus said to him, Someone gave a great dinner and invited many. At the time for the dinner, he sent his slave to say to those who had been invited, Come, for everything is ready now. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of land, and I must go out and see it. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I am going to try them out. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have just been married, and therefore I cannot come. So the slave returned and reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and said to his slave, Go out at once into the streets and lanes of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind and the lame. And the slave said, Sir, what you have hoarded has been done, and there is still room. Then the master said to the slave, Go out into the roads and lanes and compel people to come in, so that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those who were invited will taste my dinner. Let us pray. Lord, be with us and open our ears and hearts. Let your words be spoken through my lips to share the light in the darkness. Amen. When I came to Great Acliffe Parish on my placement last year, I was invited to come to the meal, celebrating Christ the King. My first thoughts were, oh no, not another meal. How do I get out of attending yet another meal? As a family, we had already attended quite a few over the previous weeks. The timing of the invite couldn't have come at a strange time. The night before, we had been sat at home watching the Vicar of Dibley Christmas episode, where Geraldine was invited to many households to share Christmas dinner, which she attended one after another on the same day. I think she roughly had five Christmas dinners becoming overfilled with food. Instead, I thought, no, I will go. After all, the youth had put this on and they were being involved. And it was a special occasion to celebrate Jesus. What else would I be doing if I didn't go? Being Sunday, I think I would have been sat on the sofa watching the television after being at the Eucharist service. No, we would accept the kind invitation and go. We walked into the church hall, where the tables were nicely decorated. It looked amazing, a true winter wonderland. People were talking to one another and laughing. I would have missed this if I hadn't accepted the invitation. And in this parable, Jesus is saying, you are invited. Come, you are all welcome. Come and taste the delights of the kingdom of heaven. Don't make excuses not to attend. You will miss out. Accept the invite and light up the fire and let the flame burn. He is inviting us to share the good news to all those who are around us. Don't be sitting around in the darkness. Use the flicker of hope to guide your way so you can be part of the banquet of heaven. Every Sunday when we take part in the Eucharist, I know there are many views on this, but I do it to remember what Christ has done for us. But also it reminds me that in God's kingdom, bread will be sufficient to feed us all, included those who are being cast out, like in Luke chapter 14, verses 15 and 24. 
Jesus was seen in the parable, bringing the poor, the crippled, the blind and the lame. Everyone is welcome, no matter who you are. Though we are in tough times with this pandemic, hopefully when they find a vaccine, or hopefully however unlikely it will go away, then we can celebrate together around a table and share food and laugh once again. Remember, Jesus was sat around a table sharing food with his disciples. He also asked them to go out and spread the good news. This is a gift from God, eternal life, as it says in Romans chapter 6, verse 23, that the gift of God is eternal life free to all who will receive it. Just like he invites us and our future generations to take part in the meal, to share the good news until the time has come for Jesus to return. We are all worthy of God's invitation. Come and follow him so we all can have this special relationship with God. And we can be united in heaven where the bread is sufficient for us all and where we can laugh and have joy. Just like we all did at the Christ the King dinner. The joy of being together will return one day. Let us pray. Father God, prepare our hearts and minds for when we come to your kingdom, help people to accept your invitation and guide us all with the Holy Spirit as we follow your Son, Jesus, our Lord and Saviour. Amen.